many of America's best rowers, the road to Rio runs right through Sarasota. Definitely does. This weekend, 120 rowers will be competing in time trials, which will determine whether or not they will represent the U.S. in the Olympic Games. News Channel East John Rogers joins us now live from Nathan Benderson Park in Sarasota. And John, these athletes will be giving it their all this weekend, sort of leaving it all on the water, so to speak. Oh, they certainly will, guys, because there's a lot on the line. This weekend could mean the difference between competing in Rio or waiting four more years. And all in all, this world-class event brings big exposure to Sarasota. Out on the water, it's man versus the elements. Against the wind, the water, and the mind. Rowing is a punishing sport that tests the most elite athletes. And this weekend, 120 of America's best are right here in Sarasota. When you come down, these are people that have spent the last 10,000 hours of their life preparing to ascend to become an Olympian. They're competing in the Olympic and Paralympic time trials. And for many, the next stop after this is Rio. It's a huge mental game. And For Sarasota really native Hunter Leeming, the pressure is on. I can either show everyone what I'm capable of or I can show people what I'm not capable of. There will be a number of different races from single rowers to eight-man teams. Rowing has come a long way. Get this, 1976 was the first time women were allowed to compete in Olympic rowing. Carol Brown was a member of the first U.S. women's team. When we raced in Montreal, Sitting on the starting line was the first time that eight ever raced together. And that's unheard of today. Now these athletes compete around the country in a sport that stands out on its own. I also call it the ultimate team sport because you have to be together. And the more together you are, the faster the boat will go. So you can't say, oh, I need a break. I'll be back in a couple seconds. You have to be together from beginning to end. This weekend, these world-class athletes are competing for the biggest stage in a world-class venue right here in Tampa Bay. After many of these races, uh, some of the athletes will join Team USA and go off to Rio. Others will have to go through one last qualifier that will be held in Switzerland in May. And of course, the others will be going home. So a lot is on the line this weekend and the public is invited. Guys? Well, and John, there have been some concerns about the water quality in Rio. Did organizers address that today? Officials did. Uh, a U.S. rowing official, also a member of the International Olympic Committee, did address that. They did emphasize there's nothing new about having issues arise as we approach the Olympics. So they're monitoring the situation closely, and they have contingency plans just in case, guys. All right, John Rogers, thank you very much for that. And a reminder, the News Channel 8's on Adrian Peterson will be traveling to Brazil for the 2016 Olympic Games to bring you the very latest from this historic event. The opening ceremony of the Games takes place on August 5th, and you can watch it right here on News Channel 8.